What is buried under there? Leave me your guesses in the comments. What's up everyone? This is Scott from Team 512 and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be painting the calipers red on the C5. Now I'm going to be using this paint system from Duplicolor. It's actually a brush on paint that comes with everything you see here. There is a caliper cleaner. It has this little roll of masking tape, the paint itself, a stir stick, and this little brush here, a little instruction booklet. I think I paid somewhere between 40 or $50 on Amazon for this kit. So I've already prepped three of the brake calipers by cleaning them real good with the uh, provided brake clean and uh, masking off the areas that I don't want to get paint on. Now I'm going to go ahead and prep this front right caliper. So uh, let's jump in and get started. All right, so everybody knows the secret to a really good paint job is obviously in the prep. So what we're going to do here is, after I get my glove on, is do an initial pass with the toothbrush and the uh, brake clean solution. And I'm starting up high and going to work my way down low. And you can see this black paint has, uh, has seen better days. It's not awful though. It's holding up pretty good. I don't know how long ago it was painted, but it, it's starting to, um, to come off in certain areas. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and if I can get to these bolts here, I'm going to go ahead and remove the caliper. You guys should be familiar with, with this tool here. This is the uh, Earthquake XT that I pretty much talk about in every one of my videos that I use it. Once you crack it loose, it zips right out. Now we can go ahead and pop the brake pads out. And you can choose to do this any way that you want. I mean, you, you can leave everything together, clean it real good, and just paint it together. I'm just taking some extra steps here take these retaining clips out and um, what I'll do is probably mask off the rotor uh, in this area here and then uh, mask off some of the areas of the caliper. Yeah, I just knocked that. There's a retainer that goes right in here. So I just pop that out real quick. Tape off this area of the rotor here by feeding some tape through. Just like that. Tape the rotor here. Like that. And then I'll put another piece on the rotor like that. Now we've got some pretty good protection from, from the paint. Let's tape off uh, this rubber sleeve there up top. Let's give the caliper another little shot of brake cleaner now that we have access to more of it here. Now that we can reach more places, we can do a little bit better of a job cleaning. Now again, it's up to you guys like how good of a job you want to do cleaning this thing because you know a lot of this caliper you won't even see you know you won't see where you're painted where it's painted and where it's not when it's back on the car 
So it, I guess it just depends on how, how thorough of a paint job you want to have. What I'm going to do now is, if I can find the screw, pop this, or not screw, I'm sorry, bolt. I'll pop this bolt back in right up top here, loosely, so that it stays in place. And then I'm going to take, let's see if I can do this with one hand. I have this two by, I think it's a two by six here that I'm going to use and I'll show you this a little bit better on camera. So I've taken this two by six and propped the caliper up. So I think what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to um, paint the caliper while it's, while it's propped up like that. All right, let's get started uh, uh, painting and see what happens. So obviously before you start painting, you're going to want to shake uh, the paint uh, really well for at least 30 seconds to a minute and then use the provided stir to stir the paint up and make sure that um, you know you've got the you've got the paint stirred up real well because you don't know how long this thing's been sitting on a shelf and then it gets shipped and I know it's been on my workbench probably for about two months uh, now and I'm just finally getting around to, to doing the paint job so I'm gonna shake this thing for about a minute then I'm gonna stir it up and uh, and then we can get started all right let's go ahead and uh, and open up this paint together and check out this finish. See what this red's gonna look like. And uh, there we go. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice bright, nice bright red. It's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, look at that. That's a beautiful red color. All right, let's, uh, let's get started painting. Okay, we're just about to start painting this front right caliper now. But I want to share a few tips with you. The first thing I learned is get yourself um, another paintbrush, preferably something a little larger than the one that's provided in the kit. The problem is it's too small. And so for larger applications like these calipers, it takes a lot more time uh, to get the paint on the um, on the caliper what i ended up doing was buying some of these one inch trim brushes from my local ace they were like four dollars a piece and the trim brushes have a nice angle on them and you'll be able to get into some of the the nooks and crannies of the uh, caliper uh, a little bit easier now another thing i learned about uh, this process is that it really is a process and if you're expecting this to be a quick uh, job on the car don't don't even start it if you don't have the time to commit to it because um, it is a lot more involved than probably I anticipated so with all that being said let's jump in and get started on painting this caliper bring the camera in here so you guys can see what one coat looks like on these calipers. Yeah, lots of black still coming through, but I can tell you from the other calipers, after the second coat, it really starts to um, look like something. So there you go, guys. That's after one coat. I'll see you uh, probably after the second one. All right, I figured this would be a good chance for me to check in with you guys and show you the progress so far. Now, let's take a look at this front right one that you saw me put the first coat on. I now have a second coat on this caliper and from about a foot away, it actually doesn't look too bad. But if you get up close to it, you can still see that obviously we're going to need to do another coat. Okay, now let's go take a look at a caliper that has three full coats on 
and that's drying right now. So you can see here after three coats, the coverage is quite a bit better. So a day has gone by since I put the fourth and final coat of red paint on the calipers and it's time to reassemble and um, use the Dremel to bring out that Corvette logo on the front calipers. Now, I had to do four coats in order to get uh, even coating and bright rich red color. They look pretty good. Now, of course, there are areas of the caliper that I just was not able to reach with them um, still attached to the car. So I think this is just something you're going to need to deal with <clears throat> and accept if you're going to do the job with the paintbrush. But now that, uh, now that the paint has dried for a day, it's time for us to go ahead and, uh, and put them back on. All right, so I've got the caliper back on and I, I wiped the rotor down real good with uh, some brake clean. Now we're ready to go ahead and try to bring these Corvette letters back out. Um, I'm a little nervous about this, but I guess we could always touch up any areas that we inadvertently remove paint from. Now I'm using my Dremel with this, um, this I don't know if this camera's picking it up here this little wire wheel here and I'm going to just gently kind of touch the surface of the C and the O and just follow the letters all the way through. So here we go. So uh, what do you guys think about that? There's a couple spots where I got a little ham fisted, but uh, I can probably go back and touch that up real good. Now when I do the, uh, the other side, I, I might just try a simple, you know, sanding bit as opposed to this wire wheel here. Um, I've got safety glasses on. Definitely recommend wearing safety glasses if you're going to do this because there's all kinds of paint and stuff flying everywhere. Um, but yeah, I mean, from a distance with the, uh, the wheels on, it's not going to look too bad. Let me get you in close so you can see. You know, you can see here. I'm going to need to touch that up. Along with some other areas on here, I, I kind of already set myself up for that anyway, so... All right, I'm gonna go around and do the other side. Then I get the wheels back on, do a little touch up paint, obviously before the wheels go back on and then we'll check back in. All right, what's up everyone? It's been about a week since I finished up the brake calipers. I've got the wheels back on the car. I just got back from Cars and Coffee and thought this would be a perfect opportunity to uh, show you guys the final results. So here we go. All right, let me get in nice and tight on there so you can see it's a great color red for those calipers. It's gonna be beautiful. That's a beautiful red color. See the, uh, the Corvette script really well on the front. And if we look at the rear calipers here, yeah, they look good too. So a couple things about this uh, 
caliper painting kit. First of all, it's been about a week and the paint still feels a little soft. I think it's odd. I don't know why it's been cold here lately. Uh, maybe that's the reason today's the first like 70 de degree day uh, this, this spring. And um, you know, if I, can, if I take my fingernail and I push on the paint a little bit, I can actually make a mark with my fingernail. And I'm not really sure why that's the case. So that's one thing. Um, the other thing is, this is a messy job uh, painting these calipers and it still kind of bothers me that I wasn't able to get all of the caliper uh, painted. You know, some of the areas in the back are still, um, you know, still black and, uh, you know, nobody else is going to be able to see it, but I'm just going to know that uh, the whole thing isn't painted. Uh, get yourself uh, some brushes. I got an assortment of smaller art uh, brushes to get some of the finer areas to touch up around. And then I also got a one inch um, trim brush, which has uh, kind of an angle cut on it. And that made the job go quite a bit faster. Four coats is all I needed to get uh, the old black paint covered and uh, get that nice rich red look. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that like button while you're at it and leave me some comments. I love interacting with you guys. Till next time, see ya.